slutty vegan mukbang for those of you who do not know what slutty vegan is it is a vegan restaurant um, here in Atlanta and they serve the best burgers so delicious so good everything is vegan vegan cheese vegan bacon vegan shrimp and he just want to show y'all this chick-fil-a sauce so bad yeah we Let's got, go ahead we got the real it. chick fil a sauce I went to Kroger the other day and they got like the actual I don't know, is that backwards I think it's back. Oh, yeah, it's upside down. But anyways, they got, like, the Chick-fil-A sauce and the Polynesian sauce for sale at Kroger now, so. And it's only, like, 3 $4, so. He excited about it, clearly. Yeah, we lit. Okay, but today we're doing um, a slutty vegan mukbang, and we're going to tell you guys about how we found out that, um, well, how I found out I was pregnant in India. Yeah. So, yeah, stay tuned. Cool. So, um, you've been craving slutty vegan for a while, right? I wanted slutty vegan for a while. We were, um waiting out the quarantine in Ohio my parents offered for us to come down and like just help us out with everything because you know we're quarantining by ourselves here in Atlanta it was hard to go grocery shopping and everything so our my yeah, parents say grace. Yeah, say grace. Oh, yeah. Heavenly Father thank you for this meal that we received Lord please let it be used as nourishment to our bodies in Jesus name we pray amen my bad my bad God don't ever do that again I mean, don't ever do that again but anyway Salute, big guy. <laughs> we waited out the first half of, because now I guess what, the second wave is about to happen with COVID-19. So for the first wave, we were in Ohio, and my parents offered for us to come there. Just be talking. So, so how do you want to tell them that we found out he's pregnant in India? We're talking about slutty vegan. I thought we were talking about pregnancy. No, I said... <laughs> I said, so you've been craving slutty vegan. You went, yeah, I've been cra craving slutty okay, vegan. Okay, I've been I craving. I've been craving slutty vegan for a while. It's not yeah, in Ohio. It's only in Georgia. Come, Go ahead. Oh my god. Okay, you you take over the mukbang. Yeah, thing. so um, she been craving slutty vegan. I just ate McDonald's, so I'm not even that hungry for real. But I'm gonna try to act like I'm hungry for y'all to make the video about it. Um, but yeah, we today today was a pretty busy day. We went into the uh to the doctor. We that don't matter because we need to tell them how we found out we was pregnant in India. That's the whole point of this mukbang. Remember. That's what I was trying to talk about. Yeah, we don't really do mukbangs that much, so we apologize for the inconvenience, you know what I'm saying, the, the lack of uh, organization on our, on our behalf. Anyway, so let me just start with, we were in India. Y'all seen our India vlogs. Um, you guys have been watching them. Yeah, hold on. Let oh, me wait, talk shout about that. No, 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 no. I got to address these people first and foremost. Now, thank y'all for subscribing, though, for real. Shout out to our new subscribers. Yeah, so... um. Basically, I've been seeing the comments, people saying I'm not Indian, I'm black, I'm from I'm from some tribe, some African tribe in India. Where are y'all getting these assumptions from, man? Do y'all know my daddy? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Y'all know him? Y'all know Papa? Y'all know Ba? Oh, I didn't think so. Why but nah, so basically, a little, little background on me. Um, my mom, she's African American. I'm from Virginia. My mom's African American. My dad is Indian from India, Mumbai, Gujarat to be exact. <laughs> yeah, not no uh, African tribe in India. But yeah, so that's that's like my background. They met in uh, they met in Virginia when they were like teenagers. Had me when they was like 25, and the rest was history. You know, that yeah. was that. Okay, so anyway, shout out to all of our new subscribers on a yeah. light note. But yeah. We had like what seven thousand today, I think. We hit seven. Oh my 000. god, that's so amazing! It's Thank crazy. You guys. It's crazy because like we we really had kind of like put YouTube to the side. People were like, "Why haven't y'all put up videos in a year?" Like we weren't getting that many views, and then finally like that's oh, not why. No, nah, we, we we weren't really. Put, and you didn't want you didn't want people that's all in our not, business. That's not why. No, no, we gonna be honest with our with that's our subscribers. That's not why. We gonna be honest. That's not why I stopped YouTube. I stopped YouTube, and I'll tell you guys in this story. So just. Let's hurry up because you won't. You weren't seeing. No, that's you not. You weren't seeing the benefits from it. My husband doesn't even pay attention to me clearly. Cause look, you don't even know why I stopped. I was doing all the editing so on our vlogs. To, <laughs> I was doing all the editing on our vlogs. So I'm gonna tell you, like, let's just start with how we and found out we were were pregnant in India. As I eat, cause this is really good. This Chick Fil A sauce on these fries, it tastes just like 
Well, it is real Chick-fil-A sauce, so it's really good. It tastes the same as, as the restaurant? Mm -hmm. That's crazy, because you know most of the time when you buy stuff I, like that's like from the restaurant, like you can buy like Cracker Barrel pancake mix, it don't taste like Cracker Barrel. It don't. But Chick-fil-A really? <laughs> okay, uh, dang. I'm not even eating. They gonna click I'm off not this. not eating in a mukbang. They gonna click off our video. Have you tried this sauce? So they got, so Slutty Vegan has like a slutty sauce. Let me yeah. see what that tastes like. Cause I'm with, I'm Chick Fil A yeah, sauce all Chick -fil -A. day. Yeah, it's alright. I'm gonna show y'all my burger. It's alright. It's crazy cause when Slutty Vegan was still just a food truck, I had hit the owner up and I was like, hey, we interested in like investing in y'all cause we saw all the potential. They were going crazy. I stood outside in like almost a hurricane to get surprise him and get him burgers. He saw Slutty Vegan on IG. He's like, man, this is vegan burger. It looks so good. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to surprise my man. I'm going to go, I'm going to go get him these burgers. Put your ring up. Put your ring up. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at my nails, y'all. It's quarantine nails, y'all. Quarantine nails. Quarantine nails. Mm -hmm. Haven't gotten to get them done. We got a baby now. Can't be around that many people. I cannot endanger our child, so they look a little ratchet. But never mind the nails. Look at the ring. He did good. Yeah, but that's why you got a ring because you do stuff like that. You always, you know, go above and beyond. Okay. So anyway, he saw Slutty Vegan on Instagram. This is before they had restaurants. He's like, these look so good. And I'm like, I'm gonna surprise my man. I'm gonna go get him some of these burgers. He's been talking about them. So I get there. I had just got a fresh blowout, y'all. My hair was straight. I'm natural. I don't have nothing in my hair, so no perm, no nothing. Oh, you pickled. It's good though. You said you wanted pickles. No, nah, this is good, but I'm it's let me very finish saucy. talking. It's a mutt man. Dang, you rude. You keep interrupting me. Where was I? Trip. Okay, yes. So I wanted to surprise him. I wanted to get him some burgers. Just got a fresh blowout. So I'm standing outside, it starts raining. Come to find out, it's a tornado warning. So I basically stood in a tornado to get him some vegan burgers. And I couldn't leave because literally I was like almost to the front. The line was so long, like an hour and some change long, y'all. It was so long. And I'm like, I'm gonna surprise him. So I stood in the rain, my blowout got messed up, but I ought to get my man some burgers and he loved them. Okay, vegan bacon. Okay, so yeah. So this good. is the, what is this called? The Fussy Rusty? This, what is this called? Oh, this is one called the One Night Stand. So it's a vegan burger, has vegan cheese, it has vegan bacon. I'll show y'all what it look like. It's very good. It's very messy, but it's good. That's what it looks like. They got their secret bacon. sauce, vegan bacon, red onions, I mean caramelized onions, and then like an impossible burger or something like that, and lettuce. I got pickles on mine. It's good though. I like mm. it. Mm. I'm too full already though. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I've yeah. never had a real burger before. I don't eat beef or pork. That's a lie. I don't eat beef or pork. I've never had a real you burger You say you before. went to Wendy's and you got a double cheeseburger one time. Oh, in college. So I only had... Why did wow. you tell it? First of all... <laughs> first of all, my parents are vegetarians or pescatarians. <laughs> what if I didn't want my parents to know that? That I tried one? Why would you tell? I've never had, I don't eat beef or pork. Let's just say that. One time in college, I wanted to see what it tastes like, and I did try it, and it messed my stomach up. And I never tried it again. So, I don't even remember what a real burger tastes like. Cats out the bag. This is good. <laughs> but, um, so let's tell them, let's tell them how you found out you, well, I guess how you felt that you were pregnant in India. Okay. So I'll tell you the story starting here in America. We went to church. We we're getting ready for our two week trip to India for his cousin's wedding. In January, we went in January, right? It was in January. So we're at a church service at a church here in Atlanta and we are praying over my belly. Well, I was praying over my belly. Um, we wanted a baby. We prayed a lot though. We prayed a lot, um, but we wanted a baby. And so, you know, I was just praying over my womb and everything and just like, you know, asking God when he sees it was right, when it's his timing. To bless us with a baby so we go outside and our pastors um started praying with us and they're just like 
they look at us because um, I don't I have flight anxiety I hate flying on I hate flying in general it's really bad for me and I was just telling them about it and so they're praying with us for like a safe flight and like you know to ease my mind and stuff like that they're praying with me um, Milan and I Lane and I she be saying my government on here it's <laughs> I thought the channel yeah. name was Lan and C. But, Dang, I always you know. forget. I don't call you Lan. I call you Lan. Okay, Lan and I. We're going to cut that out. So, they're praying with Lan and I. And they're, um, one of our, the pastor's wife looks at me and she's like, you guys are going to experience God like never before when you guys get to India. Like, you're going you to experience him on another level in India. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's so beautiful to hear. So, we're on the plane, um, the first flight coming out of Atlanta. And I look at my husband and I'm like, babe, I'm like, I know we probably want a boy first when we get pregnant. I'm like, but I feel like when we get pregnant, it's going to be a girl. And he was like, me too. I feel like we're going to have a girl when we get pregnant. I'm like, yeah. So we fly over. That? Yes. I don't remember. I know. I don't even remember what I ate yesterday. Okay. Anyway, so we fly over to India, his dad and his uncle Deepak. And his cousin Amit, what's his name? Amit. Amit. No, Chira. You talking about Chira? Chira. No, Chira did not come pick us up from the airport. It, it was, was Deepak. It was it Deepak, was Chira, Chirag, and Amit. Chirag was not. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Deepak, Amit. Deepak, Amit, and his dad comes and picks us up from no, the airport. Deepak is Amit's dad. Oh, you talking about my dad? Jershon was with us too, or not? Nah? <laughs> <laughs> you see how he keeps interrupting me so I can't tell the story you've been I'm trying talking to for three minutes his, I'm the one that remembers you want to tell him because yeah, you don't remember so we was in India no so anyway we fly over to, we're flying over to India his father my father-in-law comes and picks us up his uncle Deepak and his uncle's son Namit comes and they pick us up from the airport they take us to this nice restaurant we're eating blah 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 um, so, so good, this is all in the same day we like this is my first time meeting his uncle Deepak. So mm -hmm. we go to his house and we're getting ready for like Faleku or whatever. He's t telling me about what Faleku is. Um, his daughter was the one that's getting married or the one that got married. So he's telling me about Faleku, or whatever. We're just talking, and he goes, um, "Let me read your palm." Like your palm, and I'm like, "Huh?" <laughs> like I don't really believe in that type of stuff. Like I've never got a palm reading before. I'm not saying it's not real. I yeah, just don't believe practice. in psychics. I don't, I don't, we don't, we don't practice that. So I was just like, what? Like, he was like, let me read your palm. I'm like, okay. So I give him my palm and he's like, I'm freaking out. Cause I'm like, what are you about to tell me about the doc? Like, I don't know if this is going to be something negative. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to know when I die. I just want to go peacefully. And I don't, I don't want to know. So I was like afraid to give him my palm. Like I really was. But I look on the couch and his cousin, um, Daniel, who's also, she's from Virginia. She looks at me and she's like, it's typically good stuff. It's okay. So go ahead and give him your palm to read. So he reads my palm. You know, he's just saying the general stuff. He's like, you know. Um, you're gonna, you and your husband are gonna have a great 2020. You're gonna travel, make money. And he's like, and by the end of 2020, you guys are gonna have a mini you. She, he's like, you guys are gonna have a mini you, a mini Sierra. Yeah. And I'm like, huh? And that was crazy. And this is his first time meeting me. Like, he does not know me, nothing really about us. Nobody knew we were trying for a baby at all. Like, we were, we wanted to have a baby. So I was like, huh? okay so it was just kind of weird kind of like took me by surprise yeah we just kind of shrugged it off yeah i just kind of shrugged it off like you know people say stuff like he reads palms like whatever i didn't wasn't thinking anything about it and so we go on with the rest of the trip i'm feeling a little bit weird over there in india like my stomach was kind of feeling a little weird but nothing like this whole meanwhile the whole time we've been we have been trying to get pregnant what maybe a month two months before then maybe a while like maybe three months mm -mm. Right? two three months mm -mm. How long? We went. Because we went we to New Orleans. See, no. December. It was like a month or two. Okay, so like a month, a month or two we had been trying. And so we used to pray on it. And you know what I'm saying? We just, we just didn't think anything of it. Like, I didn't know it took all this to get pregnant. I didn't know you had to have a certain day, you know, a calendar. He didn't know about ovulation. I didn't know anything about it. I just thought, you know, it happens, you know, when that happens. <laughs> And uh, it yeah. happens when that happens. Yeah, so you know, I had I had been one a kid, you know. So and he in, really in, wanted in to India be. the whole time. I'm asking her, I'm like, hey, babe, is your period on yet? You know, like what's going on? How, you know, how you feeling? What's up? And then one day she had told me when we were in the uh, hotel, she was like, yeah, my period came on. I'm like, dang. You know. 
Okay, so what happened is we're going through the wedding and everything and my stomach is feeling a little queasy. But nothing that's like, oh, I'm pregnant. Like, I didn't think anything about it. I just, some things weren't agreeing on my stomach. He thought I was being dramatic. He's like, you're so dramatic. You're, it is not that nasty girl. Like, you're fine. And I'm like, no, like, I really do not feel well. Oh, on the bus, was that when you, you said your stomach was hurting? Or yes, was? and you snapped on me. <laughs> oh, the whole family. oh, gosh. Yo, that's messed up. You were pregnant. I was pregnant oh, the whole time. Yeah, the whole, we were on and the bus. He, he thought I was being dramatic. We were on the bus. I thought she was being dramatic. Sometimes, we'll put some clips Sometimes you, are a, little, you no. are a little soft. Your pain tolerance is a little low. That's big. not true. No, it's not, because you did great during labor. But I thought she was just, you know, being a little dramatic. So I told her, I was like, hey, just relax. Like, calm down. Like, it's not that serious. Dude, I was going through it. Like, I felt so sick. Like, I was feeling nauseous. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, like I was just thinking it was some of the Indian food. I think I was trying to that get wasn't water a and want to take the water. That wasn't agreeing with my stomach. I was just thinking, like, maybe I ate something foreign. Because I ate some. What's those, um, those balls with the water in it? Pani Puri? Pani Puri. Yeah, it has some Pani Puri. And it has some of the water, you know, um, maybe like tap water. You're not supposed to like, you know, when you travel out of the country, you're not supposed to drink, drink, the, water. drink the water and stuff. So I'm thinking like something messed up my stomach. <clears throat> but now that I think about it, it's so many signs that yeah, I probably was pregnant. We didn't even know. And we didn't know. Well, like, you might have known. I didn't know. I didn't know. I wasn't, I wasn't, in the first week of the trip, I didn't know. I wasn't even thinking about it. So, um, like his Masis, like his aunts and stuff over there in India, um, Cause it was like what is it like a five-day wedding they mm -hmm. like they told us coming over there like all the girls in his family like you can wear our outfits to the wedding so we're at um <clears throat> his boss flat and they're they're measuring me and trying to give me some outfits to wear to the wedding and like one day i went in there they measured me and they went back and they sewed it up so the outfit could fit me because these are like his his aunts and his cousins outfits like just that they wear and they were like given to us to wear and give back of course but so they had measured it my bust took it out so it could fit me the next day they came back oh, i tried on the shirt i could not fit in it this oh, is a day in man. between Kapow. Kapow. my boobs <laughs> were growing <laughs> that much that oh, rapidly man. because i was like pregnant i don't know your you boobs never told grow. me that and me and Daniel and your shovel was like, what is going on? Like, Man, you just was got measured. Out the it was crazy. I'm like, well, how? Busting out the band, though. It was crazy, though. So it was just like little things that were happening now in my head. I'm like, wow, I was pregnant. Like, that's crazy. But yeah, so that happened. Um, my, we were on the bus. I was feeling kind of a little bit nauseous, but nothing that was like, I'm pregnant. Like, nothing that would have alerted me to think I was pregnant. Um, so then his dad made a comment. My father-in-law made a comment one day. I was coming up the steps, and he was like, dang, girl, you, the way you huffing and puffing coming up them steps, are you pregnant? And I was like, huh? He was joking. He was just He was joking. He was being funny. Yeah. He was being sarcastic. But I was like, no, I'm not pregnant. And then no. it kind of like hit you like It kind of hit me like, My, maybe. Maybe. Like, so then we're over there, and I was researching, because um, I was supposed to get my monthly flow was supposed to be coming around the time and she wasn't coming and i'm like this is kind of strange but then i started researching and it's like if you travel to a place that's like a few hours ahead ahead of your country or like you know what you're used to it, it can throw off your flow so i was like oh well that's probably what happened like how many hours is india I think 12 or 13 yeah i think they're like 12 or 13 hours ahead of us over here in here in the u.s so i was like whatever i'm not tripping like it's coming <laughs> and then, it never did, it never did. <laughs> and so then like my husband asked me he's like oh did your period come like did it come and i'm like i was hoping it didn't he was hoping it didn't but i didn't want to get his hopes up and not knowing for sure because i didn't have any pregnancy tests like i didn't have anything over there um to take and say and confirm so i was like i'm not gonna get his hopes up i'm just gonna say it came so i was like yeah it came but in my head i'm like i am probably pregnant I think I'm pregnant. So we had went to like a street market on our last day there went and I the bought Gateway of India. Yeah, we went to the Gateway of India and like a little street market and I wanted to buy my goddaughter like a souvenir from over there. And I saw these cute little baby bangles in the <laughs> store and I'm like, I'm gonna get these because I think I'm pregnant. I think it's a girl and in I just head, want you said in that. my head I said this. In my head to myself, I'm like, I think I'm pregnant. And if I am, I think it's a girl. 
and I want her to have a souvenir from this trip because it was such a beautiful trip. I'm like, why are you buying all these bangles? What yeah. is going and on? And I, I told him it was for my goddaughter. I'm like, oh, they're for my goddaughter, like, Kylie. Dang. Yeah, he was. She don't need no more. Yeah, he. All these bangles. Yeah, he was mad. Come to find out it was for our daughter. Come to find out it was for our daughter. And so we came back. As soon as we arrived here, the next morning, I got up. I tested myself. Of course, the pregnancy tests were positive. We, we still have those. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to show y'all the pregnancy test because that's kind of gross now. They kind of, <laughs> oh! But we do, um, I, we can put some video footage that of that in here. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, I'll add that in there. We'll add that in there. I think you're going to like it. I actually did it backwards. So you can go ahead and open it. So do I explain what's going on? No, just open it. I don't want to get our dirty house clean. Open. No, look at the top. Look at the top. Look at the top. No, this top. You lying. No, I'm not. That's why I went to the doctor because I just wanted to confirm. Yo, you're lying. I'm pregnant. Are you serious? Yes. Look at all the pregnancy tests. I feel like I'm dreaming. Is this real? Oh my god. Are you serious? We're having a baby. Oh my You gonna be a daddy. Um, but yeah. It was a beautiful trip. We found out we was pregnant over there. His uncle Deepug read my poem and told me by the end of twenty twenty we was gonna have a girl. And we got a girl. We got a little girl. We got a girl. <laughs> She's here. Our biggest blessing. Our biggest blessing, yes. She's a great mixture of both. Land and I. She fussy like her mama and just lovable and cuddly like her dad. She's spicy like a mama. She's. <laughs> nah, what else happened over there? Beautiful, just like that's that. worth talking about. What else? I, think, I mean, I think we good. We twenty one minutes in, like. Oh yeah, y'all probably didn't clicked off. If y'all ain't clicked <laughs> off, if y'all ain't clicked off, follow yeah. me on Instagram. I made a new Instagram. I'm gonna add it below, but it is the Sierra J. The Sierra J. How you spell Sierra? Cause people don't be on. C. It is T H E. C I E R R A J on Instagram. It's no underscore? Mm -hmm. You. Okay. Oh, but yeah, okay. nah, we appreciate all the love that y'all been showing, all the likes and the comments. Please be sure to subscribe because we're going to be more consistent with uh, this whole channel and, you know, just try to put, try to put out more, uh, more content and stuff that you guys will like. But yeah, that's how we found out. Well, that's how she found out she was pregnant in India. How, how you rate your uh, sandwich? It's very delicious. I feel like it's a real burger. It is good, though. It does taste like... I don't even like vegan food, for real, and it tastes really Can good. Can I have your burger? You don't want to? Uh, relax. Mm -hmm. No. But yeah, I'll give it like... What you'll give it? Like, I'll give it like a seven and a half out of ten. Mmm. Mmm. I always rate food, too, by the way. I ten always. out of ten, I recommend. And that's Cap. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. Y'all land on the track.